I'm always looking for ways to make my lessons more interactive. One way that I do that is I share our Google Slides with my students and have them edit on the slides. But what if you don't want to give them direct access to your Google Slides? So this add-on is going to allow students to fill out a Google form and then you can push their responses into the slides so their slides become part of your presentation. This works great in person or virtually. You're going to either be displaying your slides or screen sharing them and then students respond to a question that you give them in the Google form and you'll push them over and they can then discuss with the students their responses in live time. But it also works asynchronously. Ask the students a question, they fill out a Google form, and then all their responses you push into a single Google Slides, which allows you to review them all at once, either by yourself or with students. So let's see how this works. You're going to be on the premium content page. If you are not a premium member, head over to alicekeeler.com slash membership to join so you can have access. So I have Google Form to Slides add-on, and you're going to press Copy Add-on button. I'm going to make a copy. And when you make a copy of the slides, you are going to want to rename the form. You make a copy of the form. I'm going to rename the form. And delete the directions. And I'm going to change this from ask only one question to respond to the question on the slides. So what you'll notice is I have a slide I've pre-made that says, what is the line bisector? So I'm going to be displaying this either through screen sharing or live, and students are going to go to the Google form and give their response. So we're going to go over here back to the form, and I want to do the puzzle piece icon is where you're going to find the add-ons. You're going to find the form to slides premium add-on. You need to authorize the add-on. After you authorize the add-on, you're going to need to set the slides. And I have a Google Slides already pre-made. And so what I want to do is I want to get the URL. I want to get the link to the slides. And it's going to prompt me what is the URL. I say OK. And it's going to open the slides just to confirm for me that those are the slides that I want. Now, if you don't have pop-ups enabled, it's not going to pop up in another tab, but it still sets the slides. So these are the slides I want to use. I am displaying the question to the students, and I have asked the students. You can put the link in the chat if you are on a video, or you can push it out to Google Classroom or whatever tool you use for students to be able to have access to the link to these this Google form and my response to what is the line? It is half. And then another student might respond IDK. And another student might respond cut a line in half. So I get all these student responses. I can see in the form that I have three responses, but how do I discuss this with students? I go to the puzzle piece, form to slides premium. And I'm going to choose Send to Slides. It says, what slide am I on? So you'll notice that I am on slide two. So I'm going to say I'm on slide two. And coming back to my slides, I see that they said it is half. I don't know. Cut the line in half. So maybe I come down and now I've got perpendicular to a point, not on a line. I want them to describe how that they would do that construction. So I'm going to come back over here to the puzzle piece and now when I go to form slides premium I'm going to clear their responses because I'm asking a new question and then I'm going to go ahead and have them fill it out. Okay so they're going to respond however they're going to respond. And then I am going to go back to the Forms to Slides Premium. 
I want to send it to slides. What slide am I on? I'm on slide nine. So I say slide nine. Come back over here and I can see that their responses have been added to this slides presentation. Now when I'm setting this up, when I go to set the slides, and it says, what is the slides URL? If I don't put anything, it's gonna make a brand new slides for me. So here you see I have a blank Google Slides. So now when I go to the puzzle piece, form to slides premium, and I send it to slide, am I on? Now I said slide five, but I didn't have slide five. It just throws it to the end if it doesn't exist. And it's gonna add those student responses into the new Google Slides if you didn't have one pre-made.